terms of the buildings themselves, we've gotten much tighter on our envelopes. We've used low carbon um, uh, renewable uh, materials. We've uh, in integrated LED lights um, that have reduced the energy load a significant amount. Uh, we've been more thoughtful about the use of water uh, by lower flow uh, fixtures and faucets and organizations like LEED that have really put a focus on uh, designing buildings uh, with a holistic uh, view uh, has made a big difference in, in the way we think about uh, putting buildings together uh, than, than when I started. I think there was a, there was a report to President Johnson in the in the late 1960s about uh, about climate change, but there was there really hasn't been much action until the last couple of decades. The industry has really evolved a lot. I think um, my 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 work has mostly focused on. Uh, operational carbon use. This is the carbon that's used when you when you operate the buildings. But we're also we also have to to begin to focus on the embodied carbon. This is the carbon that uh, that's embodied in the buildings. It's the carbon that's used to manufacture steel and concrete and 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 install it in the buildings. And that embodied energy is, is going to get more of our attention into the future. The efficiency industry grew over the last 20 years. ASHRAE has really been a cornerstone of, of that growth. Um, but since we've really transitioned to carbon over the last half decade or so, um, it's, it's, it's really pedaled to the metal. When I had started 20 years ago, there really was an emphasis growing on integrated design, which has really made these beautiful buildings be created that are energy efficient. And now this in the integrated design is, is now being taken one level higher um, to make sure it, in solving for the carbon equation, it also considers the carbon impacts of the building materials. It considers the building's impact on the grid. And it also um, is concerned about indoor air quality, um, for instance, from uh, uh, on-site combustion and on, on the impacts on equity. But I do think the trend is in the right direction. And with the manufacturing and, and the industries behind it and with the trades, you know, at societies like this in this meeting this year, it's all about decarbonization. And, uh, you know, we, we really feel it's a real opportunity for this country to bring the building sector into the position it needs to be in order for, um, for the United States to meet its uh, commitments on a global stage.